Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought I would do a really cool cool tone look um, in my Sephora VIB sale haul number two. Um, hopefully that's up already. Um, I ordered the Metalist uh, Sparkling Foiled Pigment Shadows from Touch and Soul. I got two of them. This is Aurora Taupe. I want to create a look using this. So if you're interested in seeing that, just keep watching. So I think I'm gonna pair it with my Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this palette. If you like cool tones, this is everything. It's got your gray and black. It's also got cool tone browns. Um, the shimmers in here are beautiful. Uh, I really like this palette. The Anastasia palettes are some of my favorites. I'm gonna start with my Sephora crease brush and I'm gonna go in with Slate through the crease. My JH33, I'm going to mix Slate with the tiny bit, tiny bit of Noir. I'm just going to slowly build up that crease. Okay, I'm going to cut the crease with my Tarte Shape Tape and my Little BH Cosmetics Brush.
going to take my Sigma E30 and I'm going to take Slate and Noir and I'm going to run it along that line where I cut the crease just to deepen it a little bit. So for the lid, I'm going to use the Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foiled Pigment in Aurora Taupe. I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup of the fallout, uh, but you definitely don't want to use this after your base is already on. Um, I would definitely do your eyes before your base if you're going to be using these. Um, they do fall a little bit. It's not too bad, but there's a little bit. I'm also going to clean up my wing. sharp. I'm going to go do my base off camera and I will be back to finish the outlook. My base is on. I'm wearing my Stay Naked from Urban Decay in 20NN as usual. Normal base products. Um, I also throw on some mascara. My favorite is the Benefit Roller Lash and some black liner on the top line. I just used my uh, dagger liner from KBD. Uh, to finish the eye, I think I'm gonna do something a little different. I think I'm gonna take Bloom and run that along my lower lash line. And I'm gonna use my M506 for that. Blend it out with a little bit of birch and slate mixed together. So for lashes today, we're going to use the Tiffany Teal Style in Elizabeth. These are gorgeous. Lashes are on. Um, I did add a little bit more of bloom underneath my eye. Again, on my 5M506, I just took a little bit more and put it on the outer lash line just to brighten it up a little bit. And I think I want to take it to the next level with the Everlasting Lip Pencil from KBD. Beauty and Sexer. I'm going to put that on my waterline. I'm going to put a little bit of Artist Couture Coco Bling um, for an inner corner highlight on 
on my Sigma E30. For highlight today, I'm going to use my Jeffree Star uh, Skin Frost in Ice Cold. on my M506 as usual. blush today I'm going to use my KVD uh, Everlasting Blush in Foxglove and my E3. Setting spray is my Morphe Continuous and my Pixi Glow Mist. Here's the final look, guys. What do you guys think? I, uh, I really didn't like this until I put the lashes on um, and added the pink liner, to be honest. Um, but I find that to be the case when you are doing the more dramatic looks. A lot of the times you kind of look crazy until you put the put the lashes on. Um, again, these are Tiffany Teal and Elizabeth. I just, oh, I love their lashes, you guys. I can't, I can't say enough good things. Uh, my code will be down below for fifteen percent off. Uh, if you have any questions about the styles, let me know. I like how it turned out in the end. Um, I was a little bit nervous doing it. <laughs> But uh, I like it. I really love the pink liner. It's uh, one of my faves, I think. If you guys have any questions or if you want to see any specific looks, make sure you leave them down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!